see what are we going to get. Definitely gonna get the pies. Okay, just a moment. Okay. What should we get? Okay, hi everyone. As you saw in the first clip, we stopped at Jollibee. Matt's never had it. I had it when I was younger and older-ish, probably. But yeah, we got spaghetti, adobo fried rice, which is new to me. He didn't know what that was. And then we got chicken, which they're known for chicken. He got spaghetti, which he's gonna learn really quickly. He's not gonna like it. I don't like it because it's sweet and I'm more of a put spicy sriracha in the thing. Not sweet spaghetti because the Filipino spaghetti is like sweet spaghetti. We didn't get palabo because I don't think he'd like it. It's like jelly on noodles. And then the menu was just hard to read, and we're in the drive thru, so we'll see how he likes it, see his opinion on it. But I'm gonna make a dinner anyway because he might not like the spaghetti that he got, but it's gonna eat it anyway. And then we got a ube pie and a peach mango pie, so I'm excited for that. But it was like three dollars, three dollars for apple pie. Hmm. Alright guys, welcome to this video. We're gonna have a mukbang of Jollibee, which is primarily here on the island. No, it's in the Philippines. And in the Philippines. It's a Filipino fast food, so it's not traditional Filipino food. It's like American fast food meets the staples of Filipino food, basically. So this is my first time having Jollibee, and I've heard some things about the spaghetti. So we got the spaghetti. As you can see, we got the fried chicken, we got adobo rice, um, they threw in some gravy, I think it's supposed to go with... Your spaghetti, remember? Either the chicken or the rice, and we got a peach mango pie, and then we got an ube pie, and they also have pineapple, pineapple juice. juice. So let's just go ahead and dig in, and I'm not adding gravy to my spaghetti. I told them the gravy goes in the spaghetti, and believe me, it goes with the chicken. Right. What a silly juice. Mix it up. I don't know. I think that's cheese on the top. I don't know. Okay, right off the bat, it's kind of questionable because it has carrots. It doesn't have hot dogs. Oh, no, it has hot dogs. Yeah, that's what I like. It has a hot dog piece. I'm thinking this is cheese. It looks like some kind of really ham garlic. or more hot dog pieces. It's hot dog, probably. Or like bacon. It looks like um like the vine of sausage weird. looking. Alright, let's take a, take a bite into this. Take a bigger bite. You gotta get the hot dog in there. Okay, we'll get a piece of the hot dog. Look at that. But you've never had spaghetti with hot dog. I use spaghetti with hot dog. Mm. Alright, that. It's not sweet like people said. I mean, it's kind of sweet, but. It's good. What? You don't like it? I mean, it's not like your traditional like pasta spaghetti, but it's like, it almost tastes like the canned spaghetti. Yeah, because it's sugar, and that's what they used to preserve the chocolate stuff. Yeah, not bad. Either once in a while. So, ordering here is kind of, uh, overwhelming when you look at the the board because it's a lot of different chicken um like combos and specials and things like that on one side well pretty much the entire screen and then on the other side it's like a little corner of like spaghetti stuff so it doesn't seem like they have a lot of options just like a lot of combinations of the same foods yeah that tastes like just sprinkled an orange all over it I don't think it's bad. I don't like it. Not like I said I like spicy spaghetti in my hidden clip. Let's see what it is. Oh. I don't. Yeah, I don't. this is not your traditional spaghetti, spicy, garlic. It's just like a hint of sweetness, but it's more it's more like honey. It tastes more like honey. Yeah. I just don't like it. I'm not a sweet spaghetti nor fruity spaghetti person. You didn't know what this was. This is like adobo fried rice, but without the egg over it. That's why you didn't like, understand it. Mm -hmm. Not for much really intense about the garlic. What is that, ginger? Well, it's normally garlic and soy sauce. Normally adobo soy sauce and vinegar. I have a chicken.
well, that'll wash it down. I love pineapple juice, so this is perfect. I mean, chicken should be fun. Yeah, the chicken is the best part. Chicken's good. It's not that, I mean, it's like a hint of salt there. They're known for juicy chicken. It is juicy. Chicken. chicken is very juicy. Just a hint of salt. Not overpowering. Um, it's not like your traditional crunch like KFCs, but. Well, this is like hour old now, so. We wouldn't know if it was crunchy or not. This one's crunchy. It's good. So this is perfect because we both trained the le training the legs today. Um, we started going to a new gym for us here on the island. We've gone a couple times and uh, just bought day passes, but this time we actually had a membership and we typically go to 24 hours here on the island. But honestly, it's just getting overwhelming, overwhelmingly packed. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of standing. A lot of distractions and uh, just overall the environment at the new gym uh, just seems to be better at the moment so right now we decided to switch up and not go to the 24 hours and uh, so yeah, that's uh, one of the updates that's been going on with us. Almost the last week we've been going four days, five days. So they have a lot of different equipment, a lot of different options that you can use. So more bang for the buck. Okay, so we're going to do the peach mango pie first. Uh, all of this food was about $24 and some change. Um, which I don't think it was too bad, but like she said, for the portion size, it's kind of overpriced. But I was kind of expecting to be a little more expensive. Because individually, I think the spaghetti is like six six dollars. That was six dollars. It was thirteen. These things were two sixty five. So the pies were three, yeah, three dollars a piece. And then the chicken was twelve ninety nine. But then the rice was an extra two dollars. Pineapple juice was an extra fifty cents, which is nowhere on the board. Yeah. So they got us. Um, we're gonna try the peach, peach mango pie. So when I was in Thailand, I had a pie. I had the pineapple pie. This kind of tastes like that, but it has a hint. I'll Has the hint of mango. It's not bad. It's like a very, very hint of mango, though. It's got more it? peach taste to it. I like, like the, the crunch with it. I don't, I don't think I like fruit. Our right, next is going to be the ube pie. Ube is my favorite, so hopefully this doesn't disappoint. Pie. So that's the best one. This isn't bad. Hold on. Oh, two, one. Mm -hmm. 
more filling in it. There's a lot of filling in both of them. Like, like when you go to McDonald's and you get taro pies, like half of it is filled, but I think that means like potatoes, like taro pie. It's almost like a taro pie, but a little sweeter. I would pick a taro pie over that. But it's okay. I like that one better than the other one. I don't think it's the ube flavor. The ube yeah, juice is sweet. Ube. Yeah, it's more like potato. Yeah. Oh, you're not Alright, so that's going to conclude the video. Short video. Short mukbang, but first try to draw the bees for me. Um, for her, this is your second time? Probably. The first or the last time that she had it, she was not very impressed. But I think they just got the spaghetti, like she said, so... Um, no, we got, like, everything. Oh. But the what you go there for, to me, is the hollow hollow, just because you can go through the drive through and if you were to go to the golden coin, you're sitting there for, like, 20 minutes. Which I'll pop that up on the screen of what she's talking about. Um, it's another uh, traditional or popular... It's like dessert. a shave ice. Yeah. I haven't even had that. Yeah, I wish it was a lot, but it wasn't really at home. Well, that's why I have to go to a real... Comment down below if you should go to a real Filipino place and get real, authentic Filipino food and make them try it. No, we're not getting... The, the pig's blood. We're not doing the pig's blood. We're not doing the pig's blood, so don't even comment that. I don't eat that. Though. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel so you can see other videos that I come out with. Whether it's the hiking videos training videos, military videos, or doing other mukbangs, food reviews, things like that. Um, like she said, comment down below some of your Jolly Bee, I guess, experiences, or something that we should try Filipino-wise, Filipino foods, um, and we will either try to find it here on the island or um, try to see if we can make it. So, make it. Filipino blood. Big's blood and go on. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Hit.